welcome to Ten Maze Anime Review number 42. Guess what? I was playing on Gaia Online. Yeah, I know, I know, but a friend asked me to join like last week because she wanted to RP with me there and since I was there anyway, I figured I'd check it out and we played around with it a bit and it's actually kind of fun. <laughs> I was on Gaia Online way back, like six years ago or something like that, but I fell out of it. But the site has come a long way since I was last there. Anyway, while I was walking around the online game part of it with my character, I was getting attacked by wolves, and guess who saved me? Come on, take a guess. Okay, okay, I'll tell you. It was Sebastian! <laughs> so in proper fangirl fashion, I stalked them. And then befriended them. And now Sebastian is my friend on Gaia. <laughs> Yes, yes, I'm aware I have a problem, and I hear that's the first step. <laughs> and yes, I realize it was a random person with a little sprite that they happened to make look like Sebastian, but I didn't care. <laughs> Made my day. And if anyone out there wants to friend me on Gaia, I will leave a link in the underbar. And now moving right along. If I jingle, I'm sorry, my armband has chains. <laughs> Today's anime, for the first time, is an anime of my own choosing. It's something that I just recently watched and it's not well known. It's nothing epically awesome or anything like that, but I do think it's something that deserves a little bit more time in the light. So today's anime is... <laughs> Miracle Train. This anime was released in October of 2009 and only ran for 13 episodes. Now this anime was designed to appeal to a female audience. So let's go over what it's about. Think host club type characters, now not Orin High School host club, just real life host club characters, on a train. It's a fantasy based type anime. It is said that on the Odo line in Tokyo, any female that is in need steps onto the miracle train and is then interacting with the characterized versions of all the stops on the Odo line. These characters are Fumi Ropango, Rintaro Shinjuku, Itsayu Tsukichima, Iku Shidome, Saki Tocho, and Itsumi Ryogoku. Yeah, I probably pronounced some of those wrong. Now these are all the names of the stations in real life on this train line. Now what happens is that the girl in need goes to step onto the train that she assumes is the train that she's meant to get on. But the moment that she steps onto the train, it's suddenly not the train she expected to get on. She is then greeted by our ever so handsome station characters, whose job it is to help the girl with her problem no matter what it is. Now this is something they have to succeed in or the girl will never be able to leave the train. There's also an episode where a guy accidentally gets on the train through some sort of mix-up and it was really funny. <laughs> now each episode there's a new passenger and it basically goes through what it takes for the guys to help the passenger and let her have a happier life and get off the train basically. They're there to help. So what seems like an anime that's nothing but hot guy eye candy for the girls actually turns into something with a story and a plot. And really, you'll question the conductor character from the first episode. <laughs> what is with the mask? I thought it was neat though, because pointless things that happen in earlier episodes that you don't really think much about do come back later to be important. And stuff that you think, oh, that's going to be important, gets forgotten about just long enough so that when it's brought up again, you're like, oh yeah! And I really like stuff like that. And because I expected it to be a pointless anime but was fun to look at, I didn't expect it to have a plot with a little bit of a dark side under the surface. So that made me happy. I wonder what it is about darkness that's so exciting. I did enjoy this anime. Even if it had been just for the pretty boys, I still would have enjoyed it because it's what I was in the mood for when I went looking for a new anime. So it was a personal treat to see that there was a little bit more to it than that. I'm going to give this anime a 4 out of 5. And of course, if you like this anime like I did, you'll probably also like Bartender, 
Restaurante Paradiso and Oran High School Host Club. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Dingle, 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 blah. <laughs>